Hey, Rick, I appreciate you calling. Uh, I'm glad I'm going to get you to help me make a video today on what your problem is so we can uh, help some people out. And um, what I've done is through the use of Crossloop, we've called up uh, Rick's um, screen in Indiana. I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, we're going to go through some procedures, but there's a couple questions that Rick asked earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and answer them. One is, whenever you are uh, doing what we're about to do, making any changes in a macro or an INI file, that you always have to have your WinCNC closed uh, when you do it, and you have to save each time before you go out of that file. For that reason, I'm going to uh, always suggest when you open your WinCNC file, you'll go to uh, your uh, Explorer, you'll go into your C drive, and right now, before you go any further, I want you to highlight your WinCNC folder, and I want you to copy and paste that folder into a, another folder on your desktop or another place on your C drive or wherever you choose. Put it on a flash drive, uh, put it in the vault at the bank, uh, email Joey a copy of it at uh, cammaster.com because uh, that's something you uh, always want to make sure you've got a backup for. All right, having done that, we're not going to do that right now, but that's a safe move on everyone's part while you're learning this stuff. Now, uh, Rick's problem today is that his laser is uh, off by a little bit, and we're going to go through the process of how to calibrate your laser. Uh, what Rick has done is he's drawn an X and a Y, uh, a truly uh, perpendicular line on his table that we're going to use for a calibration point. And uh, what I'm going to do is ask Rick to right now move your uh, turn your laser on and move your uh, X and Y position using your laser over your uh, crosshairs that you drew on your table. That's going to be our calibration point. fine we're doing fine just uh move your crosshairs over your uh x and y uh, lines that you drew on your table all right just about there i want to point out at this all point right. that whenever you're doing this you want to have a good sharp bit like a v bit or a 16th uh, um anything with a good sharp point to it that you can see exactly where the x and y point are on your table under your bit all, all right. right we are over the Marks. Okay, you've got your crosshairs over your drawn line, right? Now what I want you to do is I want you to click your laser X0, Y0 button, which should send your bit right over that point. Okay. It is over the point. However, it is even on the X. And it is off by approximately a quarter inch to the right of, on, on the X boundary okay then what we're going to do is you say we're a quarter of an inch off on the X boundary okay Approximately. now are we to the uh, standing at the end of your table is that to the left or the right of the line it is to the right okay if it's to the right of the line it's to the positive side of X in other words everything works from zero which is either on a positive side or a negative side Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to close WinCNC. We're going to open up your Explorer folder. Go into your C drive. We're going to open up the WinCNC folder. I want to tell everybody at this point, don't ever change anything in here until you feel absolutely comfortable of what you're doing. Make sure you've always saved a backup. There's probably only two files in here you'll ever initially work with. That is your WinCNC folder, your WinCNC tap file, and your macros. Your macros are those things that command 
the various issues on your uh, table. Now we're going to go into the first one here is the laser zero. And Rick said that we were a quarter of an inch off on the X measurement in the positive direction. Now if we're a quarter inch off in the positive, that means we want to come back toward the negative. So we're going to notice that X is a positive number. X is 0 0.25. 255 and then y is a negative 3.355 off the uh, center of that. That's the offset from that bit to that laser. Now what we're going to do is since we're a quarter of an inch off, we're going to take out the 0.25. We're going to re-enter two zeros because remember we're only trying to remove a quarter of an inch from that number. We're going to go file, save, We're going to close that file. We know we've saved it. We're going to close down our macros folder. We're going to reopen WinCNC. All right, Rick, what I want you to do now is I want you to turn your laser on. I want you to move your, your laser crosshairs over directly over the crosshairs on your table so that they match perfectly. Okay, now I want you to click your laser X0, Y0 button. How does that look? Uh, I'm going to turn that off. Soft limits off again. i got to bring it down just a little bit more to make sure. Okay. Rick, that's what I want to hear. That's what we like when we do these kind of things. I want to appreciate, I want to thank you for helping me make this video. And uh, I'm going to hope we're going to do it again real soon. So let me stop this video. and. We'll